Uh, Kyle is here with us right now to talk about this. Kyle, you know, th this isn't to alarm anybody, obviously, no. but you do have to be prepared for these things because sometimes they can do some crazy things as they approach shore, or no. you can feel the effects of them far from where they go ashore. Yeah, and you don't want to be doing any of that last minute, of course. Right. So it never hurts to be prepared. And there's parts of Texas that are in the cone. I mean, mm -hmm. South Texas is, and still can't rule out a South Texas landfall. Still mm -hmm. looks most likely maybe that northern Mexican coast as you get a little closer to the Texas-Mexico border. But the farther north it goes, they're still going to bring a lot of rain to South Texas. And of course, that could cause flooding issues for that part of the state as well. So yeah, of course, never hurts to be prepared. Let's talk about where Barrel is at the moment and where it is headed. Almost knocked over the box that Pete, Pete knocked over yesterday. What was that? What was that at five or six? I don't remember. Izzy's <laughs> Izzy step stool is what we like to call it. All right, here's Barrel, the uh, center of the storm, technically just south of Dem Jamaica. So it looks like it did not officially make a landfall in Jamaica. But I mean, what's really the difference there? The core of the storm just off the south coast of Jamaica. Lots of wind, lots of rain in Jamaica at the moment. Still wind speeds of 140 miles an hour and still a Category 4 storm. Going to track just south of the Cayman Islands, approach the Yucatan Peninsula there of Mexico as a Category 2 storm, making landfall early Friday morning, somewhere between kind of the Mexico-Belize border and Tulum, Mexico. Immediate Cozumel and Cancun north of the track of the storm. Still going to get wind and rain for uh, those resort communities. But the core of the storm looks like kind of Tulum and to the south. Then emerging into the Gulf of Mexico, becoming a tropical storm. Could maybe re-intensify into hurricane, though, as it gets a little closer to that Texas-Mexico coastline. And that's, of course, we'll be watching things closely as it gets a little closer to Texas.